Two days later in the same stadium, Italy, who'd ridden into the last four of the World Cup on the back of the expectations of their fanatical followers, met the world champions Argentina. Just as in 1982, when Italy had stumbled on the goal-scoring hero during the competition in Paolo Rossi, Salvatore Scalacci was a saviour of 1990. He began and ended the move, which gave Italy the lead 17 minutes in. Scalacci was first to react when Goicachia turned aside Viali's goal-bound effort, although Argentina claimed Scalacci was offside when he scored. Once again, Diego Maradona was a subdued figure as Italy hung on to their single goal advantage. This was the best Maradona could summon up early on. But all of that was to change as for once Argentina played some of their best football of the championships. The breakthrough came just after the hour mark as Lotte Caccia's cross is glanced home by Claudio Canizia. It was the first goal conceded by Italian goalkeeper Walter Zenga in 517 minutes of World Cup football. There was no further scoring during the remainder of the game or in the 30-minute period of extra time. So the World Cup semi-final went to a penalty shootout. With a score 3-3, Donadoni saw his shot saved by Goicachia. Argentina had Ricardo Justi sent off in extra time and had hardly endeared themselves to the supporters in Naples. Diego Maradona, who played his club football in this stadium with Napoli, was the next player to take a spot kick. There was little generous congratulations extended to him by the Italians when he scored. It turned out to be the decisive penalty, because the Italian substitute, Aldo Serena, had his penalty kick saved by Goicachia. Goicachia had travelled to Italy as second choice behind Pompidou. Now he was as big a name in Buenos Aires as Mario Kempes or Maradona.